Welcome to the first edition of Garden in the Kitchen. I am Chef, Chef Sylvia Denervin. And I'm Anne Buckley. Together on this show, Anne and I will show you how to prepare tasty meals for you and your family. My cooking style is easy, simple. I focus heavily on produce and unprocessed ingredients um, because I believe the healthy eating should be fun, easy, simple, and yes, delicious. So Sylvia, before we go on, tell us a bit more about what other things you do. I know that Garden in the Kitchen is your main focus. Tell us how you actually work with that. So I actually uh, take the photos of mm -hmm. all of my recipes. I test all of my recipes and mm -hmm. I uh, take all the photos. I do some videos. Um, yes. I have a garden, so they're lovely. That's why it's Garden in the Kitchen. Okay. Um, during the summer months, I use most of my produce to create my recipes. Yes. And yeah. And you blog? And I blog Fantastic. at Garden in the Kitchen. So all the recipes uh, are on my website at gardeninthekitchen.com. Okay. And for those who don't know me, um, I'm a writer, I'm a wine consultant, and I'm also an active member of the Holliston community. One of my roles um, is actually I'm a member of the HCAT board. So it's fantastic to be involved in this on the other side of the scenes. I usually get to see things from the, um, from the office side of things. So I'm excited to be here. That's awesome. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. So tell us, what are we going to be making today? Yeah, so today uh, we're making ground turkey butternut squash skillet, which is a lovely recipe. It only takes about 20 to 25 minutes to make, and we use just a handful of fresh produce and, and ingredients from the earth. So I'm excited that you've chosen this as our, as our debut recipe. Um, it's one of yours that I've taken from your blog and have created at home, and it was a real hit. So I'm excited to see how this works for our Holliston community. That's wonderful to hear. Shall we go over our ingredients? Yes, please do. Okay. So here are our lovely ingredients. And like okay. I said, um, a lot of fresh ingredients you mm -hmm. see here. And if you look at this recipe and it's inexpensive. Mm -hmm. All of the ingredients put together, you can make it a lovely meal that's healthy on a budget for your family. I love the colour combinations that we've got going on here. Everything looks so vibrant and appetising. Exactly, and that's this is uh, my cooking style. I make sure there's a lot of colours mm. and there's a lot of flavours yes. and texture and make it exciting. Yes. And like I said, uh, healthy eating does not have to be boring. Mm. It can be really fun and delicious. So. Yeah. Interesting um, to the eye and to the palate. Yes, so shall we start cooking? Please do. Yes. Awesome. Um, first, let's quickly go over the ingredients. Mm -hmm. um, I have some olive oil. You can okay. use any oil of your choice. Okay. Salt and pepper and paprika. That's okay. our seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, garlic and onions, of course. Lovely. It gives the lovely flavor, Good flavors, right? Yes, and the, so the we have fragrances that will start to come Exactly. We have one pound of ground turkey mm -hmm. and two cups of butternut squash, one cup of red bell pepper. And I have some sh uh, shredded cheese. You can use any cheese you have at okay. home, uh, mozzarella, parmesan, any cheese you like, cheddar. So Perfect. don't go out and so buy. So no need to buy an, exactly. another expensive Absolutely option. Not. Just use what you have at home. I exactly. And then we'll finish our dish with cilantro because fresh herbs add a lot of good fresh flavor to yes. our meals right fantastic so what um we're using a skillet yes so uh, i'm using a heavy cast iron skillet okay. i love using cast iron because it distributes the heat evenly perfect so they are my favorite um, uh -huh. we're adding our turkey right now i love that sound that temperature sounds perfect so you make sure you break up the turkey into yes. small bits and okay. break up all the larger chunks. But right away, and I want to add the onions and the garlic because I want that flavor to sink in. Excellent. To okay. our turkey. And I'm assuming we're not going to get much fat off of the turkey either. Absolutely. So, so we're not worried about draining off any excess fats there. Exactly. So. Great. Ground turkey is a very lean meat, mm -hmm. so it's wonderful for 
many diets. Okay. So if you are on certain types of diets, yes. uh, health, uh, ground turkey is a healthy option. Okay. But you can also substitute for beef, ground beef or ground chicken. Yes, okay. Um, I've tried all of those options okay. and they're all delicious. I, I have to say, I tried it with the turkey and um, it was delicious. Um, and like you say, it's, it's one of those clean living um, menu options. Exactly. And we're adding enough flavor in here that the recipe will be tasty because sometimes turkey can be a little bland, but it doesn't have to. So we're going to season with uh, salt. I like yes. to use sea salt, some freshly ground pepper. And, and I like that you're not being scared of over seasoning here. Absolutely you you'd not. like to add a decent amount of those seasons going in there. I do. And when I'm just cooking for my family, I don't measure the ingredients. I just kind of like yes. eyeball and okay. taste it in um, because everyone's taste is different, yes. right? Absolutely. So some yep. people tolerate more spices mm -hmm. or some people prefer more salty foods. Um, so I never uh, mention uh, salt and pepper measure okay. on my website I okay. always say to that was taste. one of my questions I was going yes. to ask so all these recipes we can find on your website Sylvia absolutely perfect and I'm um, assuming we'll, we'll give those um, details out at the end of the show okay so we're ready for um, our red bell pepper and that's chopped nice and small yes yeah, so the idea is that the veggies, the peppers and the butternut squash are yes. small enough that they will cook within a reasonable amount of time. Perfect. So we, okay, so because this is a quick quick meal, yes. an easy quick meal, which is perfect for a weeknight when you're coming home late yes. and you're tired and you're hungry, your family's yes. hungry and you just have twenty minutes, twenty five minutes, this is the kind of recipe. So uh we'll, would and you can prepare your veggies beforehand at the weekend if you're one of those um, really organized people, unlike me, who preps at the weekend. Um, but even if you didn't, then you've just literally got your, your squash and your peppers to prepare. Yes, and you know what else? At, you can find so many already pre-chopped yes, veggies at the store. Yes. So um, there's really no excuse, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no excuse not to no eat excuse. healthy, delicious food. Exactly. Yes. So how beautiful That's is this? That's browned we are only halfway through. Okay. Okay, so what we're we going to do now is to add our beautiful butternut squash. Now, if you don't like butternut squash in, you can use sweet potatoes. Yes. You can use yellow potatoes. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, make sure you use something that your family enjoys, yes. right? In my house, we actually um, split the butternut squash and the sweet potato because we didn't have enough of one in, uh, in stock at okay. the time. Um, and it worked perfectly. I have to say it was still equally delicious. Yes, absolutely. You just you, you make sure you use all the produce you have at yes. home. Like I yep. have mixed and matched different potatoes as yes. well, yep. even zucchini. So if you're preparing the same dish in the summer, yes. you use fresh zucchini which is gonna be in season in okay. a couple of months so and so that that will be your seasonal dish yes. for all, all year round you seasonal. just switch the veggies fantastic right? yeah I love recipes like that awesome so now we're adding some vegetable broth you can add chicken broth yes. you could even add water to be honest okay don't go out buying extra ingredients you don't need to uh, just make because sure. the flavors will come through from the meat that you're using anyway Absolutely. Yes. So we just make sure the butternut squash is is in um, submerged a little bit. How much stock did you add there, Sylvia? So I added about a third of a cup of vegetable um, broth. Okay. I think my sweet uh, my butternut squash is jumping out of the pan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now that we have the squash in, it's fairly submerged yes. in the broth. We're just gonna cover this okay and let it simmer for about 12 minutes okay and we'll come back add the cheese and garnish with cilantro and eat so if you were doing this at home you would um, use this time to grate your cheese and set your table exactly and perfect Lovely. we'll be right back
Welcome back to Garden in the Kitchen. Can you smell the food? It smells in? delicious. I can't wait to see how that's cooking in there, Sylvia. And it looks perfect. So now we only have one step left. Perfect. Which is to add the cheese. So on my website, I mention um, adding this to the oven at a 400 degree temperature for yes. about five minutes just until mm -hmm. the cheese melts. Uh, but you don't have to. You could just cover this dish and within a minute or two, the cheese will be melted. Excellent. So meanwhile, we're going to chop up some fresh cilantro. And do you love cilantro? I do love cilantro. Okay. Some people don't like cilantro. Oh. So if that's you... I've not found one. <laughs> <laughs> if that's you, you can use uh, fresh parsley. That's a great substitute for cilantro. Mm -hmm. um, I add cilantro to everything mm. from my eggs to my beans to meat to everything i just love 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 the flavor so i'm guessing this may be one that you grow in your garden oh yes okay. i already have a going <laughs> <laughs> and i heard that you're growing from seed this year Sophia. yes well this done this year i'm growing from seeds very exciting just kind of getting ahead of the season yes yes okay so this is ready we're going to turn this off Oh, look at that. That looks so beautiful. Superb. And you're right, that cheese is melted lovely. Exactly. So now we just add a handful of fresh cilantro. You can add lots of it or a little bit of it, however you like, but um, our meal is ready. Are you ready to taste it? I am it? ready to taste. I think we should have some clean crafted wine to taste with it along with it. That sounds um, lovely. Thank you. If you're, if you're pairing your meal with a wine, then a Chardonnay goes very well with, um, with turkey. And rosé is another option. Rosé is a very good option with turkey, but really you should just go with whatever you prefer. If you've got a preference, make sure that you just enjoy your drink with your meal. That sounds lovely, and I am yes. excited to try the wine with our lovely butternut squash with ground turkey and lots of fresh cilantro oh it looks delicious this one is thank you yours. and from fresh vegetables to a cooked meal in how long sylvia so the total recipe is about 20 to 25 minutes okay um, does that include preparation time that includes preparation okay, time fantastic. and so if you are using zucchini in the summertime like we mentioned before yes. so that recipe gets reduced by another two to three minutes because the zucchini Cooks will cook faster. a lot faster than the butternut squash. Lovely. Okay. You ready to try I it? I am, yes. Mm. Okay. It smells wonderful. This is my favorite part of being here. Butternut squash is cooked just perfectly. Mmm. Delicious. It's so good. Mm. That's very good, Sylvia. Let's try the wine. Cheers. Cheers. And congratulations to the, the first episode. Um, when should we expect to be back? Thank you for joining. It's been lovely cooking with you. Um, we should be back next month for another episode of Garden in the Kitchen where we will cook healthy and wholesome recipes for your family.